We went to the Scottish Cup final, guys. Celtic 1, Rangers 2. After extra time, and I thought, seeing that Celtic go, and my head dropped, I thought, these useless bastards were going to get beat three times in a row against Celtic. I honestly did think that, right? I was burying all the substitutes. Seeing I saw Davis in our field lineup, I went, what are these two decrepit bastards coming on for? You know, I honestly thought that. I was like, oh, our injuries, man. We need Haji and like Morelos to be coming on now. Or Ramsey, who got took off injured. But you know what? I take it all back, guys, because Scotty to Arfield put in a shift. He got a wonder goal. So Cal, who have been critical of him in recent weeks, Roof, who have said couldn't lead the line. Well, you know what? They proved me wrong. And you know what? I like being wrong. Because I, I, I did predict it would win. But really, I had no faith. I had no faith. I did. I don't know. I just felt like we'd, our arse would um, collapse. But it didn't, guys. We, br we brought it back. You know, we brought it back. We were better in the first half, but I just thought once that first goal went in, of course we hit the post with uh, Lundstrom and shit, but I, I, I did feel like after um they scored, um, I was worried. I mean, Celtic did have great chances and shit, but you know what? No, it was critical. I mean, I'm kind of going over the part, part of the review, but I'm just ecstatic Rangers have won here. But when Celtic hit the bar at 1-0 to them, Carter Fickers, that is critical, right? You heard them, well, Chris Sutton turns around and say. Will they come back to do that? They will. It turns out they will, and they very, very much um, will. But you know what I liked, right? We were just... We were just a bit more feistier than Celtic. I feel like Celtic were playing some great, good football as well, right? But we were we were fucking getting stuck in. It was very physical from Rangers, but I feel like with Celtic it wasn't. And I'm not saying Celtic are pissed, because of course they've beat us twice, but we'll, we'll, we'll fucking take our moment, get it right, ruin them. Well, get it right, ruin them and their tricolours. Get it right around a lot of them. You know, Lundstrom hit the post as well in the first half. There was numerous other chances. The first half wasn't the greatest. I think we did control the first half, but it wasn't particularly that good um, from everyone else, if we're being um, perfectly honest. But, I mean, we picked up loads of yells. As you can see, the X on the right there. Goldson, Bassey, Jack, Aribo, Roof. You know, loads of fucking yellows. Um, and, you know... Like it says here for Neil McCann, you wonder what this could do to the title race. The psychological advantage it may hand the Rangers going to Celtic Park pretty soon. Um, we're expecting this to be done, he's saying. But you know what? Rangers have come up and done the job. Just um, and you know what? This like this just get oh man because I, I was so down this season. Like we beat uh, I mean we went through there against Braga. It was, it was as good as it was. I was I've been feeling down because domestically it's just been a shit show since the return of the winter break, since the return for that. But this is this is great because you know Hearts are playing really well at the minute, you know, and have been all season. But I feel like we we can get across the line there. But Hearts will give us a tough game. But you know, with Europa League so wide open and the Scottish Cup going well, and also this could really affect things in the league in a positive light for us. Hopefully it does, guys. But at the same time, I never really, you never really know what's going to go down. But man, there was chances galore. It was just, oh, I see just seeing Rangers and Celtic at Hamden. It wasn't, a, obviously it wasn't a final, but it's always a spectacle to behold, man. 50-50 fan split. The reactions, it's, it is, it's just, it's great when you win and fucking shite when you lose. And it could have been very shite. Um, when, of course, Celtic scored with Greg Taylor. But you know what? Our field, like I say, I was very critical when he was coming on. I was like, oh man, he was so shite against Braga. So shite in recent months. But he put a shift in. Got himself a great goal. Roof let it off for him. Bang! Into that top right-hand corner. And then the other chance, Starfelt. I think it just hit off Starfelt rather than like Sakala doing anything. But well, of course, he was like pressurised and shit. I initially thought Sakala scored. But of course, he didn't. And um, yeah. Rangers, uh, we're not a heart, he said we're not going to take hearts lightly, but tell you what, I mean, I do think the league's too far gone, but this has given me a lot more confidence in terms of like Europa League, and uh, we just didn't give up, you know. I honestly felt once it went 1 0, the head's going to drop here, and thank you, Cameron Carter Fickers, for hitting the bar at 1 0. Thank you very much, sir, but yeah, guys, I'll date for the match for a few. Buzzing, guys, absolutely buzzing. Make sure to subscribe to Fog Football, the rest of the channels. All right, good stuff. But this will date here for 
Gaming Jesus, and I check out the Fog TikTok. Look at this, man. I'll probably leave a wee link in the description. But aye, till next time, peace.